Joe IPA. <laughs> Episode <laughs> 3. Woo! Podcast. Uh. Eric. Thank you, Kennedy, for this awesome <laughs> Joe IPA. <laughs> Pretty legit. What do you think, Max? I don't know. Looks bland. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not trying too hard with the packaging, so mm, it actually might be good. Smells decent. They also seem like they're smaller bottles. Yeah, it smells fruity. When the, I feel like when the label is too flashy, it's it's trying too hard, mm-hmm. and it might not be a good product. Well, no, that's what the tin's for, tin barrel. All right, well, she did good. Tin barrel coat. To be fair, a lot of IPAs, I feel it's like, taste exactly It's good. Same. It's really fruity. It's like another grapefruit, but without is the harshest. I feel like all these IPAs mm-hmm. taste super similar. Well, yeah, because they're all just a bunch of hops, and (laughs) it's really citrusy. Indian pale ale. But the more we drink them, the better they taste, I feel like. This one's good. I guess you just get used (laughs) to it. You just get used to it. (laughs) This is a drink beer outside. That's exactly what hops I didn't look at this one. like as a plant. Before. I Because yeah. I delivered to these people once and they were brewing beer in their garage when I showed up. And they were like, oh, yeah, smell this. They had this giant bowl of hops. And I was like, it's like oh, oh, that's what that is. And it all clicked all of a sudden. Like, oh, that's, that's oh man, I lost my koozie. The hell? I don't have mine either. Oh, well. It's regular blonde beers. It's just like barley. And... I don't think that like Coors, I don't think that has any hops. Well, this is like that Indian pale ale, so. That's yeah. what an IPA is. Well, they have like a different one that's like dark. This is a citrus one too. It says, "It's pretty good." Drink beer outside. My shit. Okay. I bet it'd be really good with the, like an orange. <laughs> yeah, or like a lemon or something. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like something more citrusy, cause like uh, a Belgian whites go really good with an orange. Like right. fucking blue moon, dude. If you squeeze an orange in that oh, bitch. Oh, fucking love Perfect. Blue moon. At a tap though. <laughs> <laughs> it gives it. A, it's a difference, man. Really oh yeah, good. smoother and the froth is. Uh, Most beers awesome. taste really good out of a tap, even a Coors. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's what I usually get. It's more refreshing. I don't know if it's... I think it's long. just like the nostalgic feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's actually the, the taste of the beer or it's, or it's presentation. It's like, I'm getting this out of the tap. <laughs> 21 at the bar. Right? That's Big what boy. it is. It's more like... <laughs> Hell yeah. You haven't been to the bar. Because then, like, fountain soda is terrible. <laughs> I was like, but then on the other hand, like, you get, like, soda. Like, fountain soda is just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I never clean those motherfuckers. Damn, I tap knees, yeah, <laughs> cleaning. That's fucking weird. I mean, clean is just, like, the perfect balance of carbonation. Sugar. Fountain like, sodas have more And it's, like, condensed. Like, it's just fucking weird. It's, like, you're putting the whole factory in a machine half the time. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just, like, a fucking juice mix they mix with, like... Yeah, like, they have some machine. It's all just, like, concentrate. It mixes with fucking high fructose corn syrup and water. Yeah, and it yeah mixes. it's mixed with water when it comes out. It's just like a fucking line of <laughs> whatever flavor it is and then water behind it. <laughs> and then so it was all that's carb water. really all the soda is. Yeah. 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 Soda, when you used sure. to go to like, the store and get a, get a soda we get pop like in the 50s. <laughs> yeah, people are like, that Crystal Pepsi's crazy. You no, take your girlfriend just... out to a talkie, then go get a soda pop at the diner. Yeah, they would... <laughs> I mean, I had chocolate sodas, dry bar sodas back then. I mean, yeah, it would just be seltzer water and syrup. <laughs> but yeah, at work, they have just like boxes. It's like, oh, this is Coca Cola. It's just a box. And then you put a hose through to the <laughs> yeah, it just runs through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you really think about it. It's like, oh, that's what soda is. It's, it's just syrup. And yeah, it's nastiness so and horrible so for you. And it's like, that's terrible yeah. for you, but it's good for your soul. <laughs> Beer's fattening too, but like soda's super fattening too. Like, I fucking drink it, but. It's probably more fat. Drink a shitload of Mountain Dew. Dude, I quit drinking pop forever, and then I started doing it again. It's bad. I drink pop. Pepsi, I'm, I've got an addiction. I'm not chas- I'm... As a chaser? <laughs> yeah, we use it as a chaser or a mixer. I, I can't stand soda anymore. I can see that, Eric. You drink a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do drink a lot. <laughs> That's a fact. It's actually a problem. <laughs> oh, we just laugh it off. <laughs> I don't know if I need to fix it. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll, we'll deal with it later. It's a later problem. Oh, here we go. The doctor is like, dude, if you don't stop, your liver's going to fail. <laughs> then it's a problem. Then it's I'm serious. like, boiled chicken. I don't want to live forever. <laughs> forever We're all going to die. <laughs> What about you, doctor? Your life sucks. You spent 40 years working so hard, and now you spend the like, years of your life riding boats and shit. Good years are gone. You're trying to catch up, and it's never going to happen. <laughs> he cries all the way home to his mansion. <laughs> that was right. <laughs> but wrong at the same time. Yeah, this kind of just tastes like... All IPAs taste the same to me. That's what I was about to say. I mean, I've had some, like, fruity-ish ones. Like, I don't know. This beats last week, though. I don't have a refined palate, For though. For sure. 
I put too much stuff into my nose and like my throat is burned with all the stuff and you know some people who can like yeah oh yeah I'm getting I'm getting lemon. <laughs> like, Actually, no, I smoke hint, cigarettes. So it's like, lemon, <laughs> zest. Taste buds are like should be fucked anyway, cocoa. but right as many cigarettes as you smoke, you wouldn't think you'd taste food anymore. <laughs> yeah, if you fuck up your nose and you smoke a lot, your your palate's basically like an old man. <laughs> So old people like things just mushy. Well, this one's six nine thing. at least. Like they're not like I can see why you drink them. Hey, it's a higher kinda... percentage than the last one. Like, yeah. This one. We can. This is six point nine. Goddamn. Yeah, Sixty nine. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. saying. That's the nice thing about IPAs. They're that's usually a pretty six high. Number. <laughs> Sixty nine. Hell yeah, boy. Sixty nine. Oh my bad. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing about IPAs. What I said. Is that they're very yeah. alcoholic. <laughs> I'm just going to say one thing, though. My fridge is at the perfect temp, finally. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> After three weeks, it was warm, and then it was too cold, like freezing them, and then now it's just Did perfect. you just turn the knob a little bit? Yeah, yeah. it's time. There was like, a cam trailer on here. I figured that shit out. Yeah, dude, that's just yeah I can't figure that shit out. I was like, it's supposed to be halfway. Or <laughs> to be if it's too cold, it gets moist, and everything freezes. Mm. Moist. <laughs> 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 It hurts my ears. No, shit. It's because you're weak and words. Are, <laughs> are you offended? No. <laughs> are you offended by words? <laughs> yeah. I'm not uncomfortable by any word. Like, people don't throw any word at me. I... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a word. It, it's moist. Yeah, things are yeah, moist. At least they're not punching you in the face. Or yeah, things are moist. Stretch. <laughs> stretch. People are scared of the word stretch, dude. I stretch every day. All the People are scared of the number 23, bro. <laughs> no, Jim Carrey. Just Jim Carrey. What? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But Jim Carrey is also a crazy he's, man. He's well, there's many. actually a disease. It's not I just 23, but like Carrey, numbers. I love Jim Carrey, but you're crazy. Yeah, there's a... There's he's a hell a of an actor, but Yeah, it's like a phobia of number, like a one certain number. Yeah. Anyone who's a severe anti-vaxxer, I, I just, like, I put them in a crazy category. Even if, like, I agree with the other things they say, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's... But you're just so wrong. <laughs> you're very wrong. Yeah, I'll say that. There's a phobia of the number 13. That's actually like a recognized phobia. Yeah, that's one well, like yeah, a super one. Like... Triscodecophobia. Some phobias People are, are crazy, dude. People are the Friday the 13th thing, too. That's because of movies. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> people are scared of it. Well, that's like, like super yeah, yeah, It can become too. a real phobia. Like, it, it manifests. I can see like arachnophobia. Like, I, I, I don't... Hate spiders. Spiders. I, like, I definitely spiders. have... I hate them, but I wouldn't call them I'll let them fight before <laughs> I kill them, though. Uh, <laughs> I'll let them kill each other. <laughs> or leave them alone. Cause, yeah. I mostly leave them alone. Me too. They're eating all the bugs in my house, and as long as they don't like crawl onto me, then they don't deserve death. Right? Unless they're, my kids yeah, I've left spiders in spots. And like, I... Unless they're in the shower. And I'm like, I'm not doing this arachnophobia. You watch me in the shower shit. you got to die, bro. <laughs> 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 you don't know who it's going to tell. You, know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can tell all its friends how small my dick is. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> Dude, really? All the spider buddies. Why would you do that? <laughs> talking mad shit. <laughs> the guy, the guy in the bedrooms, all yo, you got small dicks. Like, how you know? Like, the guy in the shower. The spider told me, told me bro. The, the spider in the shower told me, bro. <laughs> oh, that son of a bitch said he was gonna keep his mouth shut. Now, if a girl ever says you have a small dick, put it in her butt. She'll never talk shit again. <laughs> 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 She'll be like, oh, it's so small. And then she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's small now? <laughs> Damn. She's all, she's all walking funny out of the room. You know. She's, <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> it's a lesson I learned once. <laughs> Whoa, dude! I'll get it. This is too personal. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get too personal. Sick, what about Sick. that boring ass Super Bowl? <laughs> what kidding. about that boring ass? Yeah, what? It, it's boring. What was there to talk about? <laughs> It was a good defensive game, but uh, <laughs> we all I really the liked the way man. that, uh, that Damn uh, Rams. Cup played. Uh, God, yeah. the commercials aren't even good anymore. No, I didn't watch it. Dude. After the game, they had two funny-ass commercials. That is the only ones. Oh, wait. And the one where they were all dressed up in their suits like at a dinner place and fucking started fighting and shit. <laughs> or playing football. And their suits and shit at, like, a fancy restaurant. That was funny. There's a couple reasons why the commercials aren't good anymore. One is because the They're way that... They're $5 million. Dollar, mm-hmm. Dude, they pay $5 million every 30, watch seconds, it, I... every 30 seconds. Well, yeah, because it's such a prime time. It's real estate. Yeah, everyone, prime time real estate. everyone even just plays in the background. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think there's two reasons why the commercials suck now. One is because everyone's afraid to offend everyone, and two yeah, is because the internet is just so much better. And you like, know how many commercials Yeah, I just looked on the internet at the score... I didn't even watch the game. I just, like, kind of checked back in. 
<laughs> I didn't watch the game either. I was working, so but like at every house, I would look at the score and like when I after halftime, I was like, oh, it's still zero three. I was like, oh, this is a boring ass game. <laughs> Did you uh, see the the marijuana commercial that they banned? I don't know. The one about, it was like a medical marijuana commercial. Yeah, they were. They banned it. Yeah, well, they banned it from the, they didn't put it on. Yeah, they're like, no, we, we, we want, so, so, we want uh, uh, support that bullshit. They're like, oh, Budweiser? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Alcohol shit. Drink like, beer. I mean, we're promoting Side it. effects, liver yeah. failure, and that's all marijuana. Side <laughs> effects, the munchies. <laughs> 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 It's like a nap time. Driving a car, <laughs> go ten miles below the speed limit. Driving car on alcohol, eh, pretty fast, <laughs> like twenty, thirty above. Like seriously, it's I mean that media is still. It's they're gonna be very last catch up if they ever support marijuana. It's because we have so many states that are still. Iowa's gonna be like the last one. Oh, yeah, We're gonna be sure. one of the last ones for sure. Yeah. Well, Washington, like that's why. We're like a special state. I don't know. Like it's not just specifically red. I feel like Kentucky would be the last state. They're hella. Oh, the South. I can see the South being. Dude, they don't even sell liquor. Like. Oh yeah, they have like dry counties and shit, huh? Yeah. Which is just dry counties. So it's like Texas, though. It just makes people more desperate for alcohol. Like it doesn't work. Prohibition doesn't work. It never has. That's why they got people drinking. Was it that bad? At one point, people drinking mouthwash and shit down there, dude. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. Crazy shit. They're doing stupid stuff. It's probably yeah. Same thing in Alaska because there's a lot of dry counties in Alaska, and those guys. Just gonna say I got ADHD and get some Adderall. (laughs) (laughs) They have like the highest. The government condones that suicide rate. (laughs) Alaska is like the highest suicide rate because of. Well, because loneliness. Yeah, that and alcohol though, because they're all hardcore like. People so die from boring. hypothermia passing out. Oh, yeah, outside. you don't feel cold when you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, think about nature like yeah. that. It's beautiful to visit, but God, living there, like, you just got nothing to do. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you got just internet boring. in your wood cabin in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> I mean, you're like, constantly like, got maybe shit an to do in the nature. <laughs> you know, oh, there's, there's a difference. Like, when you're just constantly trying to survive, like, you're just busy. You're not, like, happy. You're just, like... Yeah, like, oh, I gotta get all this wood before the winter comes and I can't go outside. Some grass <laughs> right. or whatever. Risk prospect. <laughs> and then you're just sitting in your house twiddling your thumbs like cabin fever. It's like a real thing. <laughs> go fucking crazy, man. It's not like that. It stays like light and dark for like this proportion amount of times. Only shit. like the very northern parts <laughs> of it. So I've heard like, because when you go southern more towards Canada, yeah. like it is reasonably like temperatures like we have here. But when you go northern, yeah, like just how, because the earth is round. Point. Round. Oh. It's round? What? <laughs> yeah, because it's round. Like, yeah, the way the sun is, the way that cause the earth is tilted, so, like, the way the sun rotates, it's... it's uh, that would suck. <laughs> like, a whole month of daylight. Imagine. Yeah, that also, like, drives people crazy, too. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, yeah. then the darkness also drives... Everything drives people crazy. <laughs> Loneliness, too many people. <laughs> any any slight change darkness to your normal pattern. Time. We're just super fragile. <laughs> you really are. Really Let's hurt. all move to Alaska, guys. <laughs> I would only do that if I committed a serious crime. <laughs> so, guys, I gotta get out of here. I love you guys. <laughs> I can never talk to you guys again. I gotta go live with the Screw that, I'm going to New Zealand. Deny, deny, deny. You never knew. Non extraditable. New Zealand. 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 Oh. Yeah, for any crime. They probably wouldn't accept you, though, right? They're all looking at you. No, it's non extraditable. Like, you could just show up and they're like, hey, buddy. It's like yeah, fucking okay. Australia. They'll take I anyone, think, dude. Yeah, I think we're. I don't want to say Russia. Australia, has Europe, period. They'll take anyone. Well, certainly, because we're from America, they will, because they just want to spite America. They're like, yeah, we got your refugee, motherfucker. We got your criminal, because that's what they got. Julian Assange, she's been in Russia forever, the WikiLeaks guy. He's been in... He's well, been I don't in know about, like, bigger cities right now, because of all the terrorism that's going on, but... Oh, Russia's fine. They don't accept that shit. They don't care about... I'm talking about, like... Nobody care about being Paris friendly. and all that shit. They're gotten on. Oh yeah, right. Europe. Europe itself is is gone. It's, <laughs> it's it's totally fucked. It's so fucked. That's the problem with like you, you have to call it when, where it is. Like don't. It's not Islamophobia. Like when there's people being blown up, you have to address it. Like I don't hate Muslims, but stop blowing us up. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, so like, past. You don't garbage can your own. Mm-mm. You go on the ground then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the European Union actually might just ban. Like it's it's all chaos. That's what yeah, it's yeah, funny when people are like, oh, we're gonna all go to Canada. It's like Canada sucks too. You ever watch a Canadian? Where's like, this brute? You ever watch Canadian like House of Commons? Man, they hate each other. Like they're they're. Their politics are more rowdy than ours. Like, they think ours are rowdy. Like, watch Canadian politics. Like, seriously. Yeah, I've seen a thing with that. Does this even say where it's brewed at, Max, at all? Uh, check up here. That's where I found all the other shit. Or other stuff. 
It doesn't even tell us where it's from. This isn't progressive. Yeah, there's the other ones. Secret. I mean, that probably is in beer. super fine print right there, but I just don't really feel like reading it. Yeah, I can't. It says it. hop. Well, this is just a forward and crispy a, drink beer. It's a sales ice. pitch, is what it is. It's <laughs> just just tell me, I should have drank this outside, man. <laughs> right, it is. So it's drink. like an outside winter beer. <laughs> drink beer outside. That isn't. Is that a good message to be sending? <laughs> drink it outside. Drink it at your kid's recital. Drink it at a baseball game. <laughs> Just drink it. Drink it at work. You know what I mean? Just drink it. <laughs> drink it. Just responsible. drink our beer. Buy it. Drink responsibly. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Dude, I just got a hiccup off it. Whoa. You're drinking it way faster than us. I'm drinking it really slow. I I'm actually beating you. Know, I'm surprised. I yeah, no, slow. usually I, I drink beer really fast. Like some like you guys. Are you guys maybe, still on your first one? I'm on my first one. Wow. Pretty some people do. When I like drink at work, like or like with my work friends, oh. like I'm like five beers down there on their second one, just sipping on it, and I was like, Are, you no, are we not partying tonight? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, okay, you drink beer fast. I was like, no, you guys drink slow. <laughs> Why you gotta drink so slow? <laughs> it's, beer isn't for sipping. It's for drinking in large quantities. Oh yeah, unless you're like yeah. Until all your sadness gets buried down, <laughs> <laughs> deep, well, pushed, deep. right to my bones, and all the fake emotions come out. And <laughs> the cover up. And the, yeah, don't. That's that's how you're supposed to drink, right? <laughs> the dance party, fucking. Sometimes I feel like I was taught wrong. Party boy. Else if you don't wake up feeling shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, I can't believe I said that to that guy. <laughs> Next morning, then you yeah, didn't. You didn't have right. a good night. You didn't have a good night. You don't wake up regretful of what, everything you said. <laughs> what did I say? Like, dude, you told him that you hated him. That you wish he died. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was crazy, dude. You tried to kill, dude. <laughs> yes. Dude, we had to hold you back for like two hours, dude. You would not stop. Like, yeah. <laughs> Still fun though. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you didn't pull me off your boss, I probably would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was a fun night at the bar. Kind of. <laughs> that yeah, nice. nah. oh, it was fun. And then it's that. funny, like text I don't me. remember anything. He's all, oh, man. Is Aaron okay? <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I don't know. How'd you win at the end of that? <laughs> so, bitch, do you know my name? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> the three bars together. You didn't know my name. I think I was a dick, though. Was that your turn, your birthday? Or? No, it was his birthday. 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 It was oh his God. birthday. And he got 86 from pals. <laughs> he was already like 86 from half the bars. Yeah, we tried there. to go to... No, and Shooters, he wasn't supposed to be in either. No, it was yeah. the alibi. Shooters was the one he was allowed in. And they finally recognized But him he wanted to shoot pool in his pulley or whatever. Oh. Like, oh, I guess we could try the alibi. And he's like, oh, I'm not allowed in here. <laughs> He wasn't allowed from something. I remember we were naming bars like for a second. Bars. He was like, oh, I can't go there. Yeah, you know, he mouthed off. What are you doing? What are you doing at these places? Dude, he... Hit national news in Post Falls. What? Recently? No. Before oh. he even came down. Like, he uh, got in a fight with the bartender over, a, uh, like, a tab, like, dispute. Like, saying he didn't drink that much, and, they, like, they called the cops. I didn't buy that many shots. It's yeah, like, kind of And then, then like, made national it. news, because he was, like, like on the phone call, I guess, he was like, fuck the police, like, singing that song, like. <laughs> and they made, made a it, spectacle like, of it, did he? Yeah, it made national news. Like, I could probably look it up and find the clip, but. That's funny yeah. shit, dude. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, no. I'd like to forget that guy exists. For the right? <laughs> <laughs> he was weird. Not gonna lie. Yeah, like he wasn't oh, even yeah, that fun was, to hang out with. It was his birthday, bro. <laughs> uh, but he just like wasn't a cool guy. Like he was just a dick the whole time. I had to he walk could away. Be. He, was, he was okay to work with. He called me like, pretty boy a hundred times before I slapped him. <laughs> <laughs> I had to walk away, dude. Like, yeah, because he did walk away, and then I I forgot what happened. And then I fucking yeah, no, I like him. pulled you off. And the time we like looked down, you like. Like I was I slithered know. away. He I was guess. okay oh. sober. The guy drunk was. A I don't know why I backhanded him. Wow. Like I was just like the first thing that was in my head. I was like, could I punch him? But if I punch him, it's gonna get too serious. So I just like <laughs> reach across the table. And I, I you fucking kill him. Oh. him. I backhanded <laughs> him. Dude. I like just straight up pimp. Well, slapped funny, the guy. he like got up and like all grabbed our coats and like right as we got to the door, he like just like choke slammed him to the ground. Yeah, he's the, <laughs> he's the only guy you said right it, through the like, door too. I said that to some people because it's hilarious because he's the only person I've ever seen who like to go outside to fight. He put on some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want to do this? <laughs> I don't want to get too cold. <laughs> He put on his big ass coat. He's like, let's go. And like, he was so small. I just grabbed him. He needed him. some pat- padding because he knew he was going down hard. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just remember grabbing him and throwing him into the door from like yeah, from the I table. I threw him like right a there, few feet. And then, like you like had him like ready to punch him. And, like grabbed you and then like fucking. It's a good thing he did because I would have just kept punching him into the, in his face. <laughs> I just I, like into the pavement. I just like I grabbed you like pushed you a few feet away. By the time I turned around, he was already gone. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't remember seeing him leave. He, like, slithered behind the side of the building. It was weird. Yeah, he, <laughs> like, I don't know how he got snake. up that fucking quick, dude. Like, damn. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Calls it how it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, yeah, he didn't, like, walk, you know, the parking lot that way. Yeah, he just disappeared. I don't remember. Because I really... Well, yeah, dude. Most things, my glasses flew off, so I couldn't see shit. I Eric, couldn't... you disappear so much. <laughs> <laughs> so many times we go out, and he's just gone. Like, Where'd Eric go? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I get a text ten minutes later. Dude, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. I'm at home. Oh, yeah, because sometimes it's, it's cause, like people will ask you to stay, and it's like, ah, it's this whole thing, so it's better to just leave. This whole thing. <laughs> it's so better I'm to just, go now. It's better to just deal with it go. later than it is I to argue with your you drunk friends. <laughs> yeah. When your friends are drunk, they're like, no, let's do all this stuff, and you're like, well, I kind of go to bed. Yeah, it's better to just leave uh. and deal with it later than it is to argue with people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that last yeah, time. Blissed out. <laughs> No, last time, last time was we had a great fun, time, dude. It was so fun. Oh, know. man, we probably shouldn't talk about it because it's recorded, but... <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the That's bar? Yeah, New t- Year's! Yeah, you were telling it me, was it was like... The greatest. I forgot to say, you were like, that girl with the glasses, what are you crazy? <laughs> I, I wanted to be like, look at their backside, dude, tell me, like... <laughs> <laughs> tell me why I'm wrong. Because <laughs> she got glasses, it's not like we're going to relate. I know, you like took off, and then like two chicks look at me, and I was all... Man, it's my yeah, birthday. I'm sorry about that, by the way. It's my birthday. Like, and everything went from Max's birthday <laughs> to, to my dick getting wet. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. It's fine. Explicit. It was close enough to midnight, I guess. Dude, it, it technically it got, wasn't my birthday. It got real, real fast. We were all outside and drinking, which we probably shouldn't have, because I remember there was oh, no, Yeah, dude. no, we carried like four they lungs. Let me, no, they let me out with my fucking glass. Yeah, no, we both, we went out like with a beer and a glass. Was, was there anybody? Because it was packed, dude. That place was packed. I walked yeah. to the fucking Boomtown with my beer. Yeah, no, I, I, I set too. my cup on the fucking, like, railing outside, and then me and yeah. Kennedy left. Yeah, and I was blatantly doing illegal things in my car, night. like, so obviously. <laughs> it is, like, the cops were being lax. They were just waiting for all, like, the, the easy pickings, you know what I mean? They were just oh, yeah. waiting, like, outside all the I didn't bars. even see a cop. Did I walk all the way home I didn't see a from single fucking cop. downtown? I didn't see a single cop. They, they were just, they were, like, on the outskirts waiting for drivers. Dude, I, I walked. That was, like, a half an hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> you should have waited. I went to the bar for, like, an hour, <laughs> hung out with fucking Steven. Right and have an hour left and in then me, and I got the a ride home. threw up a little bit. <laughs> like, walked the rest of the I had a whole night left in me, but I just, I wasted it. I, mean, I didn't wait. It wasn't wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I, I expended, FYI. I expended all of it, and then it was like, I could keep doing cocaine all night. <laughs> <laughs> or I can go to bed, because I really had to work, and I was like, ah, I do like my job, so it's just like. Ah, you, should pro- past you should probably get a couple. And clearly hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is some man. funny jokes you're saying here. Yeah, these are all jokes. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Satire. I love it. <laughs> Damn. That was, that was Gets really a few good IPAs in him and. Hell yeah. He starts Hell's saying crazy things. Things. About things that just aren't I told true. you guys, just some wild and crazy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fucking, we gotta finish it because there's one yeah. left. Y'all need to chug. Oh, God, I hate Do it. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chug a lug. I'll, I'll take a challenge if it comes to chugging. Even if I vomit, it's your fault. Right? Right, <laughs> you bro. made me chug this. I threw up earlier anyway. I probably shouldn't be chugging on the game. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bro, bro. I saw Derek have it, and then it. it and then there's two of them. Damn. Oh, there's two of them. I'm jelly beans. Fuck. Joe IPA, not bad actually. Good job, Kennedy. It's one of the better IPAs. I will admit. Not gonna lie, I had a bland ass label, but <laughs> that was a good. That's what I was saying about the labels. Beer. When a label is bland, it means they're not trying too hard. That means they stand by their product. It means like we know it's a good beer. We don't need to. Even yeah, no, I used to pick out flashy ones. Which is yeah, like marketing. that Voodoo Ranger. It's got you know a skull, and it's like oh, it's oh, all he's colorful. got fucking aviator right? goggles on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's edgy. It's cool. It's edgy. Well, then the other one, I was kind of in a pinch, and then like I went to Highland, they had like three, and I was like, well, at least this one has like a kayak on it. <laughs> he has a lot of good selection of beers. The yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that last time. And uh, those are the smoking suds. Of yeah, the that's they have a really good selection of beers. Oh, yeah. They got a huge fucking selection. Oh yeah, cigars too. Free advertising. There it's usually know. where Ooh, I get beer. Again, <laughs> smokes and suds. Smokes and suds. Right there, dude. Best fucking Time place to get beer and cigars. <laughs> they have a great selection of cigars, and I love that a good cigar. Good. And it's cheap. 
Hey, you guys should hook us up with the sponsor. Dude, our, our names are similar. Anyway, <laughs> even though our content shit, it's all right. It's not a shit. It'll get better. <laughs> it's just <laughs> smashed because we all like to talk at the same time. <laughs> and we're buzzed. It's cool. No. <laughs> but it's and so buds. what? You're done already? Yeah. Snap. <sighs> I know you guys are weak. Wait, I got a sip. Yeah, right? We made a good time. We probably got extra content, so yeah, we should let's check that time. Yeah, I'll check oh, it out. Because we can edit we it. Not been here for oh, I bet we're at 40 minutes. Yeah, wow. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah that's what you're here. chugging, dude. Like yeah, those were good. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad. And also, like I said, I think I'm also it just getting used IPAs, to it. It's all right. It's definitely like too, too hoppy. I just don't like. It tastes like a grapefruit, <laughs> but extra bitter. Grapefruit. That's exactly what all IPAs taste like to me. That's what I said. Not, not even grapefruit. No grapefruit. It reminds me of like the fucking, just like, you ever been an orange just had a little bit of pill on it? Yeah, the peel of a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I eat the peel of oranges. <laughs> oh. Really? Yeah. Rough. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's healthy. There's so much nutrients in that. <laughs> there's, there's some rinds I'll eat, but I, make, I got all my friends to eat a watermelon rind once. It was hilarious. I, I just a bite of that. Once my friend Alicio bought like a, this tiny little watermelon, and he chopped it up, and like I, I remember I ate the rind, and I was like, "No, dude, just two to try." It's got so much fiber and stuff, and like I got like three people to eat eat the rind, and I was just like, "Why'd you guys do that?" Peer <laughs> pressure, bro. You're you so, did it. You're so like, cool. Showed us the way. Dude. Uh, <laughs> you know the way. You told us. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> I was just joking Like you don't need A watermelon rind Dude One time at a here. party We had this uh, guy We used to hang out with And he was like Younger than us And then we had another friend That was like way older And we were partying You know Kevin Oh yeah And yeah. Then fucking the next Like he went and bought uh, Beer And then like We all drank Shout all night out, And like s- slept And then like fucking The next day uh, The other guy was like Oh all the beer You don't drink You have to drink And one mixed drink In the morning and then, like, straight pissed in the glass. <laughs> oh, he pissed me. <laughs> yeah, and then what a topped dick. it off with beer, dude. <laughs> what a dick. And then fucking, like... That's a good burn. Like, the guy, That's like, this, he took, like, one little tiny sip, and he's like, there ain't something right. Like, this doesn't taste like flat beer. And, like... Yeah. By like, that point, everyone was like, oh, like, like we didn't even know. We didn't know until Kevin, like, he until he already know? drank it. Piss has a very distinct taste. Yeah. <laughs> Like he just like he sipped it. Like, it was like you know, like dipping your toe in the water to see how cold it is before you get in. But I don't do like, that shit. I jump. I Me jump either. I, I know the river's cold, so I just, <laughs> I just said, all right, you better do it now. If the other guy went first and said, "Bruh, bruh, bruh, bruh. Didn't talk when he tried to come." Couldn't up, breathe when he came up. It's not that. It's not that bad. <laughs> Not cool. Oh, you tense up. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, his face instantly like, turns red. Uh, then you know. Yeah, and they get yeah, out. Or lie. white. Yeah, your body can't. Your body can't lie. It's like jumping yeah. in the water. I don't even like swimming. Unless you have chi. Unless your chi is. This is weird. Like I haven't slept. That is once. weird, dude. I love swimming, dude. I'm a fish. I love it. That's why I can't wait for summer again. Get. Like I get like swimming, but like at the same time, the just like I don't like. I'll stay in the water for like maybe 15 minutes. That's like it. Yeah, I used to swim for like three, three hours. Max is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. When it comes to the beach, put him on blast like that. Gosh, man. I'm a fish. Yeah. <laughs> I, st- I stay in the water. I'm right, I'm right there, Derek. I'll fucking sit in the water with a beer in my hand. Like I don't. Just, yeah, it's I get out. People bring me my beers. Yeah, I only get out, I only get out <laughs> when the sun water. starts to set and it actually starts to get cold. But man, once it's when the I'm sun when the sun's cold. fucking bright, man, I'm I'm in that water. I swim all goddamn day. Like, Dude, last summer was, like, the hottest, I swear. It was the hottest year so far. Yeah, I didn't feel like it was that hot. I was at the I beach every day, though. Year, I was at the beach, like, every day. Hot is hot. Like, I can't really tell the difference between 98 and 104, 105. When I'm standing on the beach, like, It all like, feels halfway, like ball soup. When I'm standing halfway in the water up to my waist and there's sweat beating off my forehead, I feel like that's really, really hot. Yeah, no. Like, I'm in cold water, well, like, but... Like, even in Arizona, sweating, dude, like, there's not that moisture, but, like... Arizona, like you sweat, and it's like literal sweat. It's because it's dry. Uh, go to, Arizona, go to dry. Hawaii, bro. You get off the plane, like, Ooh. Well, yeah, it's all the moisture. Dude, your whole body, like, oh, dude, you heard the so south is like that. Bad. Oh, yeah, the south. Florida is Hot really soup. bad. Air is soup. Florida, all those, yeah. Then you get out of the shower and dry off. Anywhere sure where there's warm water, it's fucked. I have a friend who's in the National Guard. He goes to, like, Louisiana to do training. He was yep, like, dude, it, it was terrible. Right. It was just awful. Like, I don't know how people live down there. Yeah, Louisiana and Georgia. <laughs> don't leave. Louisiana and Georgia and yeah, fucking Alabama, all those places probably. are horrible. Well, yeah, there was, like, swampland. 
And and they probably think the same thing when they come up here. It's like, it's so dry. Yeah. You know I mean? like, yeah. That's how it was in Arizona. I was like, what? what? <laughs> yeah, and it's just dried out. It just yeah. sucks all when your you're born in a place, you get used to it, and that's just how it is. The air is, like, like, cleaner down there, though. It's weird. Like, it's in just, Arizona? It's just so dry. Like, there's, like, no moisture holding anything there. Like, <laughs> it's, like, Everything straight, evaporates. It has, like, straight <laughs> oxygen. There's no smog. It just burns in the... the yeah, dude. Yeah. It just like, dissipates <laughs> quick as shit in the fucking Arizona heat. That's why they fucking train down there. <laughs> that's they train down there because it's just harsh and it's bad and it's like really harsh on your body. It just body. gets really, really Dude, hot. Dude, like New Mexico is like fucking well, also the like they're going to like Baghdad Denver, and stuff Colorado. like that, and it's like apparently there it's way hotter in Arizona. So it's like Arizona is like ten degrees cooler than what's actually going to be where you're going, like on a daily basis. Yeah. Arizona is the place like in the summer you see people frying eggs on the yeah. sidewalk. Basically. Well, and fucking the uh, Phoenix, they have misters on the si- on the sidewalk. To Dude, keep it cool. yeah, it's crazy. You walk down, all the sidewalks have misters and shit. Any any city built in the desert is a monument to human arrogance. Because there was some point, <laughs> someone, someone went to this desolate area and was like, you know what? I'm going to build a town here. Well, then, yeah, they, I suck, don't give a they fuck, suck the rivers. <laughs> they suck the rivers so dry they're like as wide as like maybe 12 feet. Like, and that's a big one down there. Shut the, and then the move there Rio once. Grande, like, it's healthy. I was going to move there <laughs> once, but then, I don't know, like, so my friend wanted me to move down there with him to Phoenix, and like after a while, after oh, yeah, first it, at first it was like, oh yeah, dude, that's that, that sounds really cool. But then after a while, I, was, I started thinking about it, and I was like, oh, I just, it's not. I, I really, I really like suck. Wyatt. I really do like the guy, but at the same time, I was like, I'm not gonna move somewhere with a guy I don't really know that well. Right. In a place that I. Like, look at me. I'm white as fuck. <laughs> am I, I going to survive down there? I'm going to get cancer. Yeah. That, and you've never been there either, dude. When you go places you haven't been and try to live there, it's not what you think, dude. It's not. It never No, but he out. had, like, this elaborate plan that we were, like, going to do all this stuff. Yeah, you business know? And was, stuff. And I was just like, like, it sounded good at a time, but then, like, I'm kind of an introvert. Like, I'm know, I'm kind of, like, isolated into myself, and, like, I'm not, I'm not very yeah, comfortable with the open with age. <laughs> yeah. Like, you wanted me to be, like, this businessman who, like, was really good at selling cars. I was like, man, someone who sells cars is, a, is like, a... Dirt they're born bag. that Outgoing. way. Outgoing. No, Outgoing. but they're born that way. Like, well, you have to be... Also, dirt bag, you know that those... You're selling those for way over probably. Yeah, I also can't do that. I really, like... No, I'd like be a terrible somebody. house salesman. I'm, like, super salesman. generous. I'm like, yeah, I can give you, like, someone will be like... People offer me, like, money for cigarettes all the time. Like, you can just have a cigarette, dude. Yeah, I'm a terrible salesman, you know what I mean? It's like, like I could, like, I could buy, sell by the time I give done giving oh. cigarettes out, it's like, I could have had two packs, but... Just whatever. You had, you had yeah. a good time just giving them out to someone who needed it. Yeah. But yeah, but a salesman is the opposite of that. They're, like, they're cap, they're, like, it's cap. Yeah, right. Especially, it. like, when it, like, it, the sale it comes up to your pay, because like. they're, uh... Fucking mind blowing the word here. I don't know yeah. why. But he just misread me because we hung fucking out all the time. Uh, they get paid fucking when they do the sale. Yeah. Commission. 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 Hey, there you go. Yeah. yeah, then you want to upsell it. Well, yeah, yeah. but I, I hate upselling. I can't even upsell while I, where I work. Because, like, where I work is already so expensive. They're like, yeah, push all this stuff. And I was like, man, they're already spending, like, 60 bucks. I'm not going to, like, sell them more stuff. <laughs> yeah, how are you going to, like, I just, add more? I, I, but I, like, feel gross inside doing it. <laughs> like knowing that, like, it's like they don't need this. Like, I was, you know what I mean? But that's 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 something a salesman doesn't have. I like like because they don't right? think that. When well, I upsell, that in like I'll upsell the to make stuff cheaper. For fucking someone over. Yeah, <laughs> they don't have remorse at all for fucking someone over. Like they'll sell someone a car that they bought themselves like five thousand dollars. They're gonna sell it to you for twenty five. Well, yeah, they had that commercial come out like at a few dealerships where it's like you're getting in the employee cost or whatever. And it's no, like, we're what fucking the fuck? not. You it's fuck. like no, you're still ripping us the fuck right. right? Plus yeah, there's certain agents, going. there's certain uh, d- companies that actually legally don't have to tell the truth in advertisements. Like, there's a really fine line. That's well, the audio industry's like, right now, like, fucking, not doing well. <laughs> the audio <laughs> industry? Yeah. They're always doing all right. I mean, they're not like, doing all right, but, like, clearly it's in a dick Because everyone's already got a car or a hand-me-down car or a hand-me-down, hand-me-down yeah, car. Yeah, but those break down. Yeah, but no one can afford the new cars. Everyone's just waiting for a new hand-me-down. There's not enough people buying new cars to hand me down. <laughs> I feel like the auto industry is actually always doing fine, but that is it's a it's a risky investment because that's a, the whole uh, 2008 like housing crisis that happened. Like, because housing has always been like a steady investment. People are like, yeah, it's never gonna fail, and then it, well, yeah, it will eventually. <laughs> well, that was it. the that was their fault because they gave loans to people who couldn't pay them back. Yeah, that's the thing about loans. If you give too many that's loans, that's the thing to people about. 
the car dealerships too. A lot of people yeah, they they'll start out a car payment and then they end up screwing them over in the end and not paying them. Not doing like paid them. like they're clearly making money. Or yeah, they made them, bank. But that's still that, like, that leads a collapse to a system because with the housing market specifically, there was like a a huge. There was, it was like a foundation they would mm-hmm. give f- loans to people who couldn't pay them. But like with cars, usually most of those car dealerships like they ask you like where you work. They ask you like a whole bunch of shit. But like there was a whole thing going on in 2008 and before that they would they wouldn't even ask you anything they would just be like you want a house yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we'll say with the credit card shit mm-hmm. That's it's the like who wants a credit card oh shit you gotta pay that back <laughs> Wait, <you're> <laughs> still <laughs> doing, <laughs> they're still, still doing money. that dude they try to send me credit cards all the time that's like, exactly nah, good. how the great depression happened <laughs> <laughs> exactly how the great depression no cause like in the 20s the credit was uh, started brand new yeah. yeah so no one knew how it worked well, not well, even the people who made it <laughs> what, are you going to give me money for nothing? Yeah. Imagine, just for giving me Imagine World War I money. ends and you're just like, because the whole rat race was just starting. People wanted new things and that's that's what led to your progression in society was your things right. that you had. And so people were just like, wait, credit? I could just buy things? I don't have to earn it? <laughs> but yeah, but then at the end of the month, the check came, the check came and you're just like, the wait. Bill. Wait, I have, the to, bill I, came. I have to pay it back? Yeah. <laughs> but then, like, when then you the add that... Was in the <laughs> but yeah, the bill came to, like, the entirety of what's America. What's your refund policy on these taxes? <laughs> on this suit that I bought. Yeah. On my taxes, what's the bought? refund yeah. policy? Yeah, and then... <laughs> would imagine that happens to almost everyone in America, and then the entire an economy collapsed, because every economy is based on uh, trust, basically. Cause all You're going to pay that back, right? Because all, all the money we have in our pockets, like, you just... You trust that this money is worth something. Especially if you have it in the bank. All it shows you a number on your phone. But like, is it is there an account it's better now. sitting there? It's better now. I mean... Credit unions. <laughs> that's why I go to credit unions. Me too. Enough. But there was... I mean, it's better now because now there is at least some insurance to it. But, like, even a hundred years ago, like, if your bank was robbed, like, your money might be fucking gone. Like, <laughs> yeah. not, well, I guess well, time like has moved on. A hundred and fifty years ago. <laughs> your money, like, goes into, like, one giant safe, but, like, your account's, like, just a desktop fucking file. I mean, it's a file, but... It's like, it's not real money. Like, back in the day, you write your money in oh, there. It's not real they money. opened a certain spot for you. They set your money in there, like, the stack. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, it's not real money. <laughs> and then locked it. It never <laughs> happened. It only was when we had the gold standard. We dropped that in the 20s. But, yeah, after the 20s, it's, it's the not real go, money. Though. Before that, it was real money, and it wasn't a safe. That's why, <laughs> like, in Western times, when someone robbed a bank, like, everyone was, like, there was no insurance. Like, you're fucked. Like, if someone robbed a bank, like, well, there goes all your savings. Sorry. All right. How am I supposed to feed the kid yeah, now? Yeah. yeah, but after they drop it. How am I supposed to feed my brother's shit's kid? Me and mine's gonna go hungry. <laughs> we ain't eating this boy, and I tell you what. That's okay. But they did, because in those times, everyone was self reliant. Everyone knew how to at least. Yeah, everyone no, back then knew how to build a we barn. You kill an animal. Yeah, so yeah. you could just go out and hunt whenever yeah. you. Yeah, needed. you didn't have to pay the government to hunt. Yeah. <laughs> or the fish. Oh, and there wasn't regulations on every fucking thing either. Dude. That <laughs> comes with overpopulation. You don't have to worry about like, a ticket. That, that just comes with What's overpopulation. A it just does. It's, it's, a, it's a symptom of too many people. It's a symptom of comfort. Of too many people oh. and too much luxury. How are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking you guys don't like this beer too much. I just don't like IPAs. I like it. I, I've said it a couple of times, but I just. Yeah. I just been sipping on mine because I know there's none left. Yeah. yeah. I could have drank that. I like 16. Belgian. I think Belgian white's my favorite kind of beer. Like Blue Moon and like the Shock Top Belgian white. I like Shock Top. I dude. love Belgian beers, man. Belgian white. Wheat. Dude. Oh, it's so good. That Voodoo Ranger was not that bad, and it was. Oh, that was the best one so far. Voodoo this Ranger, is really? Yeah. It wasn't bad, like and it was nine percent. Out of all three of these, that was the highest powered and the best tasting. It was one. Yeah, beer. it was kind of like had that like it almost was like pulpy. Not even pulpy, I guess. I don't know. It was just uh, it's one beer. It's twelve percent alcohol. It's at A and B. It's high gravity. No, I'm just kidding. no I, I, you might we might might get it one day. So I don't want to say <laughs> the name of it, but it's yeah. it's fucking twelve percent. And dude, you drink like two of those, man. You're like oh woo. <laughs> You're feeling it. Hell yeah. Feeling it. Well, it's also like 12% for like fluid air on something, you know, like the tall cans of shit. Yeah, I don't know exactly how that works, but it is figured 12% alcohol in the whole bottle. I don't I don't really know how that works. It's like per volume, because you're supposed to like... I don't drink. understand volume. I... <laughs> <laughs> Too many numbers. Just I don't serving, understand. That's like serving size, basically. Because like technically you're not supposed to like eat a whole steak. Well, like, serving sizes are always bullshit. You get like a bag it. of fucking M M Ms. It's like eat twelve. M M Ms. What? Fucking M M Ms. M M Ms. M M Ms. 
M and M's. Had to get you there. M and M's. Anyway, it'll take you like it'll take you like six, dude, and then like it's like no, it says like 160 calories. That's 160 calories per six. Damn. No, no, in an entire package of M&M's, that's 240 calories. Damn, I like gain. No wonder I gained so weight, much weight over the holidays. <laughs> candy is <laughs> funny. <laughs> M&M's? No, it's not. It, with candy, it's not exactly the, well, I don't like know the calorie content that makes like, it fat. You gotta look at it, because like, those big bags of shit will say like 180 calories. Oh, big bag. Oh, that ain't bad. And oh, like, yeah, it's just serving size. Like, one yeah. little bag of M&M's, like a regular size, is 240 calories. But it's not the calories that make you fat in that. It's the sugar. Well, yeah. The thing about sugar is that it spikes uh, your blood sugar, and it spikes uh, insulin will secrete out of your pancreas in high levels. And when, when uh, what's the word I just said? Pancreas. And when pancreas, uh, insulin. Insulin, yeah. When insulin is spiked in your blood, you will not burn fat. You, it's impossible. When insulin is in your blood, it, you can't burn fat. So like people who eat a lot of sugar, like. Yeah. Like, oh, well, but then when insulin is really high in your blood, your body will store fat because because it's got nowhere else to put the excess calories. <laughs> because it won't burn anything if you if insulin is high in your blood, it won't burn anything. So like <laughs> even, if you eat a sandwich after you eat a bag of M and M's, that entire sandwich will become fat <laughs> because it can't burn it. It's because it's burning all the sugar. Sugar is the easiest uh, form of uh, energy for your body because your body will burn the easiest form of energy first and it'll go down the chain. So sugar is the easiest and then fat is at the very end because it's hard to burn fat because it has to like pull it out of the cells, the whole process to pull it out of your cell <laughs> and to actually put it into your body. But like if you just keep feeding it easy forms of nutrients, then it'll burn it first. So if you're just constantly burning the sugar you just ate, everything you eat after that will become fat. <laughs> that's why, like, that's why, yeah, it's really, it's really bad for you. Sugar's really fucking bad. <laughs> Mostly because of the insulin. It Big was, sugar, take that! <laughs> they really, they deserve to burn. Most of them, because they, they've been pushing it forever. And there's, you know, in the 50s, we're all fat because of them. Not just kidding. It's exactly Sons why we're all bitches. fat. It's exactly well, why we're all also fat. Also self-control. Yeah. I was <laughs> it's mostly on the person, but, yeah. It is to yeah it is it is mostly I would say they tell you that they they're legally required to tell you to only yeah, six every once in a while I'd say seventy five percent is on I the put person. the blame on me I don't give a fuck oh. it's seventy five percent no because it's such big I'm industry. big and I love it most oh. of the commercials you see are for things that make you fat oh yeah anything but yeah yeah. Because it's so easy so and, like, you crave it. Like, your body craves it. Like, cavemen, like, wanted some well, yeah, high-fat shit. Like, that's what they wanted. It's like the first drug. You ever been to McDonald's? Uh, <laughs> I always addictive. feel sick after eating McDonald's. Yeah, lately, dude, I can't eat it either, dude. Every time, cheeseburgers fuck me up. Stomachache, bad. Anyway, <laughs> we're not going to bash McDonald's. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> loving it. I'm not loving McDonald's. Fuck those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pure capitalism in, in work right there. Because cause the thing about pure capitalism yeah, is that they don't that care about anything that happens as long as profit is above Steve everything what? else. The founder or whatever. Oh, founders? Movie. Yeah, that was yeah, crazy. Yeah, the fucking dick in that movie. That was crazy shit. Yeah, I heard uh, people were actually mad about how he... But he, like... That's a pure capitalist right there. He knew that he had a good product and he pushed it as hard as oh, he could. Efficient product, too. He got robbed yeah. is what happened. Oh, they actually, no, because the two people owned it, there was two brothers, I mean, yeah, yeah. brothers. That's what I'm saying. That. Well, that was their fault. They sold it, they didn't know what they had, but the guy who bought it knew what they had, and he capitalized on it. That's capitalism. Oh, yeah. uh, he's just good at promoting, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pure Pushing capitalism. All, that's it. why pure capitalism doesn't work. But at the same time, they didn't even want to have a franchise. They wanted yeah. it to be a mom and pop thing. Yeah, but as... And have a few different shops. And they so. live good the rest of their life. Like, the money that they got at the time, what was it, like, the 30s, 40s? Yeah, like, you get, like, $20,000, like, you're like you're good. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of money back then. Right. Yeah, they lived fine the rest of their fucking no, life. No, but if they would have took that 1% or whatever he was offering, that 1% would have equaled out to... Millions. Millions of dollars now. And, yeah, they fucked dead. up on They'd be that. they dead. Maybe. They only took a million dollars or some shit. Were, but a million dollars in like the 1930s? <laughs> I mean, like, right? that's that's unreasonable amount of money. That's, that's also a dick move to only offer 1%. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's still a million yeah. dollars. That's still a dick move. 1% on something I created? If you want 1% yeah. of Apple right now, you'd be a multimillionaire. 
If you own one percent of Apple right now, if you bought stocks in the seventies, well, it's like this podcast. Be with, this podcast no, would be just like me idiot. going like you only get one. You got several million. <laughs> like, yeah, but I help create it. I <laughs> like it. Right. Be a dick move. But that's the thing. That's that's the market. Like you gave it up, so your 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 hand is now gone. Like, well, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I made it, but you sold me all the shares, so. I'm not saying it's not not illegal. I'm not saying it's illegal. I'm just saying it's a dick move. <laughs> oh, it's, it's totally a dick move. Yeah, it's totally a dick move. But that's 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 pure capitalism. That's why America is a mixture of almost all economic structure. All right. are yeah, we have capitalism, but like we have public uh, schools and roads. Yeah. The rest of the world's envious. We know it. <laughs> they always have been. <laughs> always will be. <laughs> no, just... Yeah, but now now they're more emboldened and they like to talk shit. But <laughs> they uh, they still, still want to be here. They still want to be. Here. Joe's IPA is not bad stuff. I yeah. finished mine pretty quick. It's all right. Probably could have finished all of it. Yeah. All right, we're wrapping it up at forty-five yeah, minutes. Yeah, wrap, wrap it up. up. That wrap it up button we can use also, that like ten minutes ago. You gotta wrap Woo! it up. You want it? All right. Oh, we're not doing that. Says buds.